Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. When I was out shopping a bit ago, I found this little piece of Texas brisket marked down in price, and I've never cooked one before. So I thought it'd be fun to try doing it on my Weber kettle. So let's go inside and see if I can figure out what to do with it. I don't think I've ever seen a small piece of brisket for sale like this. This one was, uh, well, it was $20.61, but it was marked $6 off, so about $14. It's 2.58 pounds, so about 2.5 pounds. Um, get this out of the package here. I don't think I've ever even seen anybody around here uh, cook a brisket. The only briskets I've seen cooked is on YouTube, so I really don't know what I'm doing here. Um, I see there's fat on the back. I don't know if I should trim some of that off or not. You know, let me see how thick that looks. Just try slicing a little bit off here. Yeah, you know, I think what I'll do is just uh, kind of trim this up a bit and then I'll be back. I trimmed quite a bit of fat off of it. Now I'm going to... Uh, just salt it with some kosher salt, and then I'll put it in the fridge overnight. So they also call this dry brining. And this seems to work pretty good. I think the, the meat comes out a little bit juicier when you do it this way. So I'm uh, just going to salt it. Put about as much as I would if I was, you know, at the table ready to eat it. So uh, just kind of salt it ahead. Like I said, I'll get this in the fridge overnight, and um, we'll be back tomorrow. Hey guys, it is the next morning. Just pulled my brisket out of the fridge, and it looks good. You know, living in Northern California all of my life, I don't think I've ever even eaten barbecued brisket, let alone cook it. So I've had corned beef brisket, but I can't remember ever eating barbecued brisket. So uh, this will be uh, a new experience for me. So. Um, that looks good. I'm just going to rub a little bit of olive oil on the outside of it here <clears throat> just to help this uh, seasoning stick. I don't need any more salt, but this is a, um, it's a Johnny's Organic Seasoned Pepper. It's one of my favorite uh, seasonings. Um, I use this a lot. It's uh, pepper, sugar, uh, red and green bell pepper, garlic, and onion. And... Uh, so we'll add some of that to the outside of it here. And uh, <laughs> I looked outside and it's raining, so I'm not sure how this is going to work. I don't want to get my camera all wet, but uh, we'll see if I can figure out how to do it. Uh, make it work. All right. I guess we should put a little bit of oil on that side, on the fat side there. So by the time I trimmed this, <clears throat> it was about two and a half pounds before I trimmed it. So now it's probably down to two and a quarter, maybe two pounds even, right around there. So, uh, and this piece of brisket, I think was choice and it was $7.99 a pound. And uh, like I said, it was marked off $6. So probably five something a pound with that discount. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go see if I can figure out how to light the grill in the rain now. Well, hopefully this will work. I have an upper deck camera because my camera is out of the rain that way. So uh, I couldn't find any matches because we just moved, or actually I could find them, but they got all soggy. I couldn't find a lighter, so I had to go uh, light a match on the stove and bring it out here. And anyway, I'm finally got getting the coals going here, so I'm adding water to the slow and sear here. What a hassle. I'd put my rain jacket on, come out here. So as soon as I get this filled up, we'll uh, go inside and grab the brisket and get her going. Okay, I think I'm all set. <laughs> I keep forgetting things. All right, I got my coals going. I'm using uh, just Kingsford briquettes. Got them loaded into the slow and sear. They're lit on one end. I have it filled up with water. 
Um, I have my brisket on here and I put a probe in it, the temperature probe. I have the grill temperature probe there. Um, I'm planning to cook this at about between uh, 225 and 250 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, with the slow and sear, the Weber usually uh, holds the temperature pretty good. Um, I really have no idea how long this will take to cook. It's only a two pound piece of meat, so uh, uh, I don't know, but it is tough as nails. I, I had trouble even getting that temperature probe into it. It was so tough. So uh, I'm just gonna get the lid on there and let this start cooking here. I have the vents on my uh, lid. Uh, I have it opened about two thirds of the way. The bottom vent is opened about a quarter of the way. So uh, that'll usually hold about a 225 to 250 degree temperature range on this grill. Of course, it is raining today, so I may have to adjust it a little bit. All right, I'm just gonna let that cook for a while and we'll be back later on and see how it looks. Hey guys, it's been about four hours, so I thought I'd come out and check the meat. Uh, it's kind of stuck at 158 degrees. The grill's been running at about 230 degrees most of the time. It's at 243 right now. It kind of started dropping off a little and I had to open up the vent a little bit more about an hour ago. So uh, like I said, it's been about four hours. I haven't opened the lid at all. So um, I think I would just take the lid off and see how everything looks here. Well, I guess that looks pretty good. Um, what do I do with my thermometer? When I put that probe in it, the meat probe, it was tough. One of the toughest pieces of meat that I've ever seen. And it still seems very tough when I stick my quick read thermometer into it. So I think what I'll do is pull it off and wrap it in foil. And I think I'll just uh, finish it up in my toaster oven. This looks really moist. I zoomed the camera in as far as I could from up there, but there's a big old puddle of water on the top of that. I don't know if you can see it very well from up there, but I'm just gonna pull that probe out and uh, get this on a plate. And I'm gonna try not to lose that juice. That'll help keep it moist in the foil, I think. Well, I know absolutely nothing about cooking brisket, but that looks pretty good to me so far. It looks pretty moist on the top. That's the bottom. It looks pretty moist as well. Just kind of keep all that juice in there. And i um, just going to wrap this thing up in foil. And uh, I'm going to finish it up in my toaster oven, I think. I've seen guys uh, just poke a probe into it until it just slides in and out real easily and that's how you know when it's done. So uh, I'm just gonna do that. All right, we'll see how this works. I set the oven to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. I also put a oven meat thermometer in the center of my meat just to kind of see where the temperature's at. I think it should probably get tender at around 200 degrees, but we'll see, I'll just keep an eye on it. This is a stubborn piece of meat. When I had it out on the grill, it hit 162 degrees, and then it dropped down to 158 and just sat there. But um, since I've put it in here, it started out at 140 degrees because it cooled off a little bit uh, when I pulled it off and wrapped it. Um, but now it looks like it just hit about 170 degrees. The oven is still set at 250 degrees, so, um, I guess I'll just be patient and let it cook a little bit longer. This was in the toaster oven for a couple hours and I finally ended up turning it up to 300 degrees because it didn't seem like it was getting very tender feeling. So let's see how it looks. Boy is it hot, i tell you that. Well, I don't know. It doesn't look too bad. Let me get it out of there. Looks pretty juicy, right? Very, very hot. Ow! 
I have no idea how this turned out, but I'm starving, so let's cut into it and see here. Just cut a piece right off the corner there. Well, I don't know. Just cut a piece off and taste it. I don't know. Oh man, that's pretty good. I was kind of worried this was going to be tough. I had to keep putting it back in the oven, but if you look, actually it just comes right apart. I don't even need to cut it. <laughs> I don't know if it's overcooked or, or not, but it tastes good. It's almost like, uh, look at that, it just pulls apart like pulled beef. You know, I kind of thought that I might have screwed this up. It just didn't seem like it was getting tender when I had it in the oven. So uh, finally I just turned the oven up to 300 degrees and let it cook. Uh, I think it got up to about 205 or 210 degrees finally in the end. And maybe that's what it took to get it tender. But see, it's just, uh, it just, it pulls right apart. And it's got a great flavor. The salt got into it. So it has a lot of flavor from the salt and that, uh, that seasoned pepper rub that I used on it really good so um actually i'm really happy with this for my first try it's real good probably the smallest brisket on youtube but <laughs> what do you expect from a california guy right <laughs> thanks for watching you guys and i'll talk to you next time